Hello, I'm Simon Pegg. Hello, I'm Henry Cavill. And we're here today to, to teach, teach you about English slang. Or as we call it, iggity biggity. <laughs> <laughs> Idiot box. Is that the TV? I think that's the TV. TV? Idiot box. Idiot box is the TV, because everything that's on it is rubbish. <laughs> and, Apart and, from when Mission Impossible comes out on TV. On TV. And, and some shows like... TV. Handmaid's Tale and Westworld. Everything else is rubbish. Billions is quite good. Billions is great. Actually, there's lots of really good things on, on the idiot box. Twit. Twit. An idiot. A twit is a, f a foolish person. Yeah. You twit. Or uh, the noise a bird makes. Yes. It, when it, surprised. Yes. Argy bargy. That's like a, when you start getting shubby and pushy and you want a bit of a fight or a scrap. Yes. It's, um, yeah, it's a bit of aggro, isn't it? Yeah. A bit of argy bargy. Doofer. Uh, doofer, well, I have someone, a colleague of mine, who uses a doofer for pretty much everything. Doofer is a thing. It can be, like, if I said to Henry, pass me the doofer, I don't know what I'm going to get. It might be a remote control. Yeah. It might be anything. Anything. <laughs> corker. Now, a corker is someone who applies uh, a stopper to a wine bottle <laughs> on, on a professional <laughs> level. <laughs> It means something's really good. Yeah. Henry's a corker. He's a bit isn't of, it, he's isn't a bit it of a come from a, from a cricket player? Is it? I think so. The etymology of the local. Oh, um, Alexander Corker. Yes. The really good <laughs> cricket player. <laughs> it's a dog's bollocks. Um, dog's bollocks, or the, or the smaller version, the mutt's nuts. Or the cat's pajamas. Or the hands rounds. Uh, it's basically the best, the best of the, the best. dog's bollocks. Yeah. Why dog's testicles represent that, I don't know. But. I don't know. But if you see a dog with a really good pair, Everyone does remark on them. Yeah, because most dogs, unfortunately, you see have... that dog's nuts. Yeah, look at the size of that dog's bollocks. Yeah, the dog's bollocks. Yeah, the dog's bollocks. Like if you're, if you, if you have a dog and it has its testicles are intact, and they're really, you know, they're, they're quite presented. Yeah. You might say, oh, they're the dog's bollocks, and you'd be literal there. The fuzz. Oh, now the fuzz. Didn't someone make a movie? <laughs> I think somebody did. The fuzz comes from the US. Um, that was because uh, the the police had big moustaches and. Oh really? Yeah, seriously, yeah. That that was. It comes from. That's your own. We've adopted it because of one of our own who made a movie. Yeah. Titled that. Mm -hmm. Hard cheese. <laughs> Which is another movie that Henry was in. <laughs> Hard cheese. Hard cheese. <laughs> Sorry, Henry Cavill. I've That's never heard of that. Hard-bitten oh, police officer, Dave Cheese. <laughs> it's... <laughs> He's people. a vegan. <laughs> He's a vegan with lactose intolerance. <laughs> hard cheese, I, I don't know. What does that mean? It means tough luck. Does it? Yeah, oh, so hard cheese, mate. Huh. Okay. <laughs> <It does. laughs> I'm going to use it from now on. <laughs> if you didn't get it, well then, hard cheese to you is basically that. <laughs> knees up. Knees up. Having a knees up. That's a party. Don't want to sit a party. Yeah. yeah, having a bit of a party. Muppet. Fool. A fool. Nice way of putting it. Or that's, that's the term we use for a series of characters created by Jim Henson. Spend a penny. That comes from the fact that you used to have to put a one pence into the lavatory stalls um, in order to access them. Access them um, to do a number one or number two, or if you're unlucky, a number three. To spend a penny is go number one. Yeah, it did. And yeah. what is it if you do a number two? A pound. <laughs> <laughs> All math and no trousers. That means that someone tends to uh, be verbally aggressive, but never actually fights. Can't back it up, basically. Yeah. Bit of a damp squib, isn't it? It's <laughs> underwhelming. It's, yeah, <laughs> underwhelming. It's when you expect a lot for something and then not much happens. Yeah, perfect. That's br brilliant. No one's onions. I tell you, I'll give you an example. Henry mm -hmm. and I were on set of Mission Impossible Fallout, and we were talking about the character of Superman, which Henry portrays. And uh, Henry began to list a number of comic books which Superman appears in. And I thought to myself, Henry knows his onions. It's because I'm an onion farmer. <laughs> knob? Knob, it's... It's your knob, isn't it? Yeah, it's... Your penis. Yeah. You say, I'm a knob, you know, if you banged yeah. into a wall or... Or don't be a knob. Don't be a knob. If you think of all the penile epithets, they all have different meanings. Like, if you're a prick, then you're a... You prick. You're yeah. a bit stupid. But then if you're a knob, you're, you are stupid, but less, it's an affectionate kind of term. But it, it's nice, it's, if you're a bit of a knob, like I'd say to you, oh, stop being a knob, Henry, and I wouldn't expect you to get offended. But if I called you a dick, then I'd be like, 
I'd be wrong because yeah. you're not I mean, a dick. Yeah. You're a lovely man. Well, sorry. <laughs> tosh. Rubbish. R a load of old tosh. Yeah, it's uh, that's ridiculous. Not to be confused with Tash. Thanks, Vanity Fair. Hope you learned something. I hope you learned some valuable English words to Which add. you should definitely use. Yes. You say you speak English, but you don't. <laughs>